In this video, we're going to check out the new public release open source firmware for the Deluge. This is going to be a series of episodes spread out over time so that we can deep dive each feature. So we're going to create an example of what you can do with the new automation mode. So let's turn it on. I'm going to press effect entire, then sidechain, and turn that all the way up. That's the master compressor. Turn off effect entire, and then let's enter back in the clip. Let's press shift and synth to create a new preset. Let's go to volume, turn it down. I'm just going to create a one note right here. Let's turn it down even more and press play. Okay, so we just have a note here. So we have a single note, low volume. We're going to press clip and we're going to see the automation overview. So these are all just the pads that we can automate. If you're not sure, you can just press it and it'll say what it is. We can exit right back out by pressing effect entire. And now we're back into this view. What I like to do is just to turn the cursor and it starts off at master level. So as you can see, it's lower. Both of the gold knobs now control the single parameter. So that's the master level. I can also audition it. Now we're not recording any automation here. So now what you can do is just turn, let's choose master pitch. So we see here there's no automation. So let's affect the master pitch. We can add by pressing any pad. So let's just listen to what that sounds like. Okay, I can also hold this down and make a fine-tune adjustment. Make this one fine-tune. So we see what that does. Now what I'm going to do is actually draw two pads. Now we can see. I can also draw a fade. So let's draw a fade from here to the middle and then here to the end. I can also make it fade out, fade in. If I want, I could make a line from here to here and here to here and so on and go anywhere I want to. So that's fun, but let's uh, change other things. So now let's go to LPF frequency. Now let's exit clip mode. Let's go to the frequency and press down here. Let's switch to 12 decibel ladder. Press play. Now let's draw in four different lines to create a saw wave. So that's LPF frequency. I can zoom in as well. So see, hold down left right knob and turn it while it's held in. So check this out. If I press learn and press any gold knob, it's going to copy that automation. Then I can zoom in, hold down shift and learn, and then gold knob. Now it just pasted that screen, zoomed in. So now it's going to be faster. Let's turn it up, make it more of a steep curve. Let's zoom in. And I want to put two upward waves right there. Let's turn up resonance a little. Let's actually change it. So. Just going to add different lines of different resonance letters. So I'm just going to draw in different resonance levels here. And let's see what happens. Okay, so we have that sound. Now let's go into, let's go to bass here. Now I'm going to turn that up to 30. I'm going to go to bass frequency. Let's turn that up to 30. Treble, turn to 30. Treble frequency turned to 30. Now let's listen. Sounds a lot better. Now let's turn to reverb amount. We just draw it in. Let's draw it in here, 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 and here. Now it's going to be really loud when it hits here. Here. <laughs> 
So we'll turn it down a little. That's not going to be as intense. Still there. Now let's turn to delay rate. Now here's where things are going to get crazy. Now when we're playing with delay, we have to be very careful because it can get very loud and hurt our ears. So be very careful when you're on delay amount. Don't go above here, especially on the first column here, because if it's stuck in a high feedback and you press stop, it's going to keep repeating and it's going to hurt your ears. So you'll have to press play twice so it's on zero. So delay amount. Let's just add little delay amounts. And what I'm going to do is go above that half mark so you can see what's going to happen. All right, so let's press play. Don't hear much. Well, let's go back to delay rate. Now this is at a lower level. Let's crank it up. You can also change it so it'll make strange sounds as it changes the delay rate. So we can experiment with all of these things. We can also hold down shift and duplicate and then make something else here or make it longer. So let's go to master pitch for example. Now that's duplicated. So I'm going to make changes so it's not going to be all the same anymore. We're just going to play around with things and see what happens. Maybe make a lower pitch. Let's change the frequency here. Let's turn down the resonance on a lot of this. Oh, it's going to sound different now. Let's turn master level up. Let's turn the tempo up. Let's play with the delay rate. So we have delay amount, right? So delay amount. Let's say I want to use exact numbers, so I can click in, it says pad selection on, I can choose and just turn. I can also choose two sides here, it'll say the values, so I can make precise changes on both sides. And then when I'm done, I just click in and it's done. <laughs> So now let's create a new kit here. So I'm going to kit. So let's just choose that one. Put in some hi-hat. Listen to it. Okay, so the hi-hat I don't really like. So let's go into clip. Now we have the hi-hat selected. Effect entire is off. So let's go into frequency. And let's just play around a little bit, just so it's not in your face. Okay, I like that a lot better. Now, let's go to the snare. And let's turn to reverb amount. I can just change the reverb amount, maybe make it lower here, higher here. You can hear the big difference there. Now I want to press effect entire. So let's turn this over to master pitch. Let's just play around with this a little bit. 
And then let's go over to reverb amount and just play around with levels here. Delay rate. Let's make some crazy high delay rates. Strange changes. Change the amount. Now that delay changes everything. Master Pitch. Then I can go over and play around. Let's turn up that bass to 30. Frequency to 30. Treble 30. Frequency. There we go. Whoa, let's change that and see what happens. Whoa. I have no idea what that is. Let's turn these down here. So yeah, we have no idea what's going to happen next. Let's go to LPF frequency and just play around here. And then turn up the resonance. Press record. You can do master level, just chop out different parts. Play with some bit crush here. There's a delay, it's just continuing because it's on a feedback. So I press play, play. Well, let's just listen to the drums. Let's go to the reverb and turn that actually some decimation. Now let's go in, enable this, go in. What I want to do is change the side chain on here. So let's turn that level all the way up. So let's turn that all the way up. All right, let's mess this one up a lot more. I'm just going to go to pitch. Let's go slower. And a clip. I can change the oscillator two level and the oscillator one level. Oscillator one pitch. So yeah, I can change everything just from these windows. Oscillator one level. Let's play with that. Let's go to the song view, turn off the drums. Let's see what's going on. So all those pitch changes, reverb, let's turn the reverb down, let's change the delay right here. 
now a mount. I can make that get a little crazy here. Just be careful. Especially the first one here on delay a mount. This can get very loud. Depending on what delay, I could exit clip, change the delay, maybe to analog delay. It's a little safer. Now, we'll just play with the delay right here. I can make some pretty wild sounds with this. Depending on what tempo you're listening. Keep the amount. Be very careful with it. If I press stop, and feedback, as you can hear. Now remember, we're just in a single note on an initialized synth. And this is just one very small example of what you can do with this. Slow tempo. So that can bring interesting results as well. So this sounds wildly different than any other time that I've played with it. So experiment, have fun. I'm going to have a lot more. So I'll be covering a lot more in future videos. So this video was just to get you started and to see kind of all the craziness you can do on here. Thanks for watching.